lost my mother at an early age. She was 52, and she died of a heart attack. Two years ago, I lost my sister, and she died of a heart attack. And at the time my sister died, I was on the table in Dr. Dillinger's office getting an ultrasound for my heart. And um, my problem had got progressively worse. We found her to be in an abnormal rhythm called atrial fibrillation that is associated with strokes. Basically, the upper chamber of the heart are supposed to squeeze like this. When they are in atrial fibrillation, they are fibrillating. So the blood flow is not good. Additional tests, uh, we figure out that uh, she has a problem with one of the valves in her heart. He laid it out on the table. He told me the two of them on the left and the right are your main valves, and they was leaking blood. The blood, instead of pushing forward, pushed it backwards. And before you could walk two blocks uphill, and now you can walk half a block. And you say, well, something is wrong. In the old days, the surgery was uh, open heart, and with the open heart, the mortality was very high. Age by itself is a risk factor, so a lot of time uh, the surgeon is not willing to do any open heart surgery because of the high risk of mortality. I told him that was not an option with me. What little I got left going, you know, that wasn't one of the things I wanted to do. It was just so much going on with me. I didn't feel that I had the strength, mentally or physically, to fight. So that's when he told me there was another procedure, which was the microclip. Microclip is something that is done in very few hospitals. So the idea is to put a knot and make the valve half as big. We go from the patient's leg, and with the placing the clip, we can reduce the severity of mitral regurgitation. The risk of the surgery is minimal and the recovery is fast. Patients go home next day um, early in the morning. And the fact that it's not so invasive to your body, I'm very happy with my choice. Barbara is a unique patient because um, she had the second procedures that we started recently called Watchman procedure. The people who cannot take blood thinner because they have bleeding issue, we close that appendage, that sac, so basically you are protected against a stroke without the need for long-term blood thinner. When Barbara came to me first, she was asking me, uh, I want to get better, uh, my birthday is coming up, I've looked at death at the door. And last year I wanted to have a birthday party and I couldn't. And this year, I'm having that party and I didn't want anything to come in my way. My mother died at 52. That was young. And I was always afraid of that age. I didn't think I would make it. I don't believe in um, celebrating after death. I want my roses now, I want my flowers now. I want to enjoy my friends now. This is my celebration. I might not never see these friends again. It's a great privilege and pleasure to know that on a daily basis you can make a meaningful changes in their life. And especially because of our field, mostly address the elderly. And the good news is that we can use this technology and we can offer them even with a patient in 90s year old and I have done in 104 year old. The peace that I've been able to get out of this, it's been a journey and a good one. And I feel like I've been truly, truly blessed.